Friday afternoon, you made it to Friday and we're looking ahead in your 11 live weather impact forecast and meteorologist Melissa Nord tracking some increasing rain chances for the weekend with showers and thunderstorms back in the picture. Your weekend not going to be a washout, but this is really much needed rainfall right now in Atlanta. It's 86 degrees. You can see that mix of clouds and sunshine in the background with our live tower camera overlooking the city, but it's humid outside, so it actually feels like 90 degrees already outside. We don't have any showers, thunderstorms on uh, radar right now, but some of those clouds are developing this afternoon. You notice up to our north, there's one cluster of thunderstorms pushing through Kentucky into Tennessee and West Virginia. We've also got a couple of other showers there in western Tennessee and over the course of the day today, I expect thunderstorms to increase in coverage toward northwest and a couple of those will impact us by early tonight. All right, let's step over and talk about severe weather threats because over the next three days we've got so much heat and humidity out there as these storm clusters come in. A couple of them could have some gusty winds. So you notice on the severe weather threat for today, tomorrow and again Sunday parts of our area are in a level one or marginal threat of severe weather. So for today and tomorrow it's northwest Georgia. As we get into Sunday, the Storm Prediction Center has placed all of our area in this level one threat of severe weather. So just know that the coverage of storms will be increasing, but also as we see all of this working into our area ahead of a front, few isolated storms could be stronger, severe with damaging winds and just heavy rainfall is something that we'll be looking out for as well. And that rain is needed with how dry the first half of the month has been. So what you need to know about the weekend is that we have increasing storms. When are those storms going to arrive? Mainly each day afternoons and evenings will pose a better chance of thunderstorms than the mornings. So if you're trying to make those outdoor plans, know to know that there could be some impacts to your outdoor plans over the weekend. The impact will be clusters of thunderstorms, not just an isolated pop up storm here or there, but we'll have groups of thunderstorms moving through at times this weekend. So just keep your plans flexible. I don't think it's going to be a washout at any point during the weekend. Now for today specifically, the afternoon hours look to stay mainly dry here in Atlanta. It's not until the evening and early tonight that we see those rain chances increasing a little bit. So we're going to hit the low 90s this afternoon. Some of us in the mid 90s, it's going to be hot, humid outside. And then this evening, that first wave of some thunderstorms will try to develop and push into parts of our area. This is how forecast track times it out hour by hour. This may not be how it actually plays out in real life, but it's kind of a vision of a future vision of what it might look like on the radar. So this afternoon, 330 we're dry, we're hot. Those high school football games starting this evening also look hot. Then as we get into 1030 tonight, showers and storms start to move in and as they get further through our area, they will be weakening as they move in. So those storm chances will be increasing by the tail end of high school football. I think the rain chance for the start of it's going to be relatively low, so hot and humid to start. And then by 10 o'clock tonight, as those games are ending, we expect the rain chance to start to increase as storms begin to move into our area. You notice on forecast track as we head through tomorrow, Again, the morning hours look mostly dry, but it's in the afternoon. Some showers and storms develop and move through and Sunday looks very similar where the morning time frame squeezed by relatively dry and then late in the afternoon another one of those opportunities for some showers and thunderstorms. So storms are part of the weekend, but they're not the entire weekend. Humidity will be a factor the entire weekend. Look at our dew points here the next couple of days. This is a measure of how sticky or comfortable things are outside. Things are feeling a lot more uncomfortable outside now than where we were at the start of the week. We're going to keep that high humidity around through the weekend, but then behind these rain chances, the humidity drops off to start next week. That'll also take rain chances out of the equation as well. We're also tracking Ernesto, which is starting its approach towards Bermuda, the island community right there who's under a hurricane warning. The thing about Ernesto is its wind field is very large. The hurricane force winds themselves extend outward from the center about 75 miles across. Those tropical storm force winds are extending about 275 miles outside the center. So impacts there for Bermuda. We're also expecting some larger swells and a much higher rip current threat here on the East Coast as well. So if you're heading anywhere this weekend along the beaches for Georgia or the Carolinas or even the coast of Florida, a higher risk of rip currents is likely. Here's your seven day forecast. We're tracking those increasing storm chances this weekend. Not a washout, but 50% rain chance Saturday, 40% Sunday dry with lower humidity. We'll keep those high temperatures around average to start next week. We'll be back with a news update coming up in 25 minutes. We'll see you then.